Hello YouTube, thank you for tuning in. This is Ambi. Today we will talk about PowerShell 6 Core. So PowerShell 6 has been released now and you know that uh, that is the latest version. However, this PowerShell 6 is different from what we used to get as a Windows management framework. Um, that is PowerShell 4, 5, 5.1, whatever that we had. And also we see that when we install it, we will not get uh, what we want. That is, we will not get our um, ISC. We, you will not see that in our, uh, when you run PS version table in ISC, you will not see that uh, particular version. So without further ado, uh, just Google PowerShell 6 download. And the first link that you're going to get is the GitHub link. That will take you to PowerShell's GitHub page. And there you have the release version. Depending on the operating system that you have, you can download and install the version. I have 64-bit virtual machine here, or in Oracle VirtualBox, and I have it downloaded for you here. All right. Okay, so this is what I have. What I will do here is right-click. Okay. Install. Hmm. Okay, I don't know why she's angry. They have an angry girl there, power girl. So see program files PowerShell. That is where you have it. Okay, it's getting installed. So you might uh, wonder now why, uh, what's up with this um, version? Well, how different is it? Why is it not part of Windows management framework? Well, you will still have your older version of uh, PowerShell 5.1. Uh, you might have to sacrifice a few of the uh, functions and command tools right now if you go here you will now have powershell 6.0 right i can do pin to start that is definitely i want to do that now i do it here okay let's see what we have here okay so it looks like a regular uh command like this that where we used to have right so command prompt or old DOS command prompt. That is how it looks. We take the PowerShell 5 regular version. What do we have? Let's launch all of them and uh, at least have a look at the different what we have here. Furnace administrator, as you can see, it's not launching because I already have six. Now let's open the ISC. I want to show you. What's different? So it installed as a regular package here. And I will say dollar sign PS version table. Okay, so that is what we have. Hmm, finally it uh, launched here. So I'm gonna say in ISC, I will say dollar sign PS version table. This is 5.0 e here. And what do we have here? Dollar sign. Hmm. For some reason, uh, I think the newer installation is not playing well with the older version. Well, nonetheless, you will still be able to use your ISC. You will still be able to use your uh, older version of uh, PowerShell, which comes with um, your um, Windows management framework. However, these PowerShell uh, versions are not cross-platform, and these are not built on .NET uh, Core. Uh, I believe that's what the new PowerShell 6 is built on. So I will see you on the next uh, PowerShell 6 session. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great one. Bye.